Good evening, class. Hello, Miss Evelyn Jamilet Molina, Miss Jennifer Beatriz Mejia Cepeda. Hello, welcome. Do you listen to me? Good evening, teacher. Ah, yes, great. Excellent. Thank you for answering because I'm testing my sound, okay? Great. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. In four minutes, You're we welcome. are going... Uh, my pleasure. In four minutes, we are going to get started, okay? Okay. Good evening, class. It is exactly the time to get started. So here we go, okay? Uh, my name is Irma Caraballo, and I'm going to be your facilitator during this module, okay? So I am so glad that all of you are here, and because we need to take advantage of the time and the connectivity, we are going to get started uh, right now, okay? So I'm going to start sharing my PPT with all of you guys, and here we go. Okay, let me see here. Okay, so as I was telling you class, my name is Irma Carballo, and today is September the 6th, 2023, correct? So it is our first day for our meeting, and here we go. Let me share with you my agenda, the welcoming. We're going to work with introductions. Generally, it is about the course that maybe all of you are aware about it. Objectives. Uh, in the pre-task, we're going to be working with identifying their own abilities. In other, words, in other words, you're going to be identifying your own abilities. In the preparation task, we have a managed small and big projects to be good at sales. 
In the task, we have described their qualities, qualifications, and education in a resume. And in the post task, I respond to questions regarding two qualifications. I expect to cover all this agenda. And if by any reason, because some activities take a lot of time, we're going to continue with the agenda tomorrow, okay? In the next slide, it is about myself. I am a professor in idioma English, licenciada in idioma English. I hold um, a diploma on docencia universitaria and also I hold a master's degree on education, yes? And I've been working for Regal International since 2018. So it is a pleasure to be working with you. And if there are no questions so far, here we go. Uh, but I would like to have one of you to help me reading this information on this slide. So there's no excuse in order to avoid the homeworks and evaluations. One volunteer, please, to read. Who wants to read? Only one. It can be a he or a she. You may read in Spanish because the slide is in Spanish. Okay? Don't be afraid. Me teacher. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. But ladies first, okay? Evelyn Jamilet, good to see you. Okay, go ahead, Evelyn. Okay. Tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que este registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. La fecha límite para terminar el examen medio Milter es el fecha ejemplo lunes 16 de julio antes de la medianoche. La fecha límite para terminar el examen final, final exam, es el fecha ejemplo lunes 16 de julio antes de la medianoche. El manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma. No se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Ok, thank you so much. I appreciate that, but we had an inconvenience here. Edwin, why did you do this? Edwin, why did you do this on the slide while your partner was reading? It is a disrespect, okay? So I would like you to erase what you did in red. I wonder why you did it. Edwin, could you please tell me? Why did you do, why did you do this? Okay, let's continue. You have to respect when others talk, when others are presenting. It was uh, Evelyn's time to read and share the information. It was not the time for you to be writing on the slides, no. That is a bad manner. That is not a good manner, okay? That is not a sign of a well-educated person. So here we go over the next slide. There are some requirements that you need to meet in this class because it is not my decision, neither Inglés Corporativo's decision. It is a requirement from INSAPORP, okay? So one volunteer to help me read in this. Hello, who is going to read? Me, teacher. Please go ahead. Thank you so much. Requerimientos. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, agregar palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Y la participación activa. Thank you so much. Okay, hold it because some of your partners say they cannot log in. Mm, but they have the information. 
Okay, so here, uh, your full name, if you have two names or three names, write them, okay? Two last names or three last names, I don't know, you write it. Why? Because it is mandatory as you have your full name in the ID or DUI. Camera on. In the case that you are listeners, you write listeners. And active participation, active participation when it is required, okay? And then here we have about attendance and about the rules, okay? So one volunteer to read this slide for the class in Spanish, because it is in Spanish. Asistencia al 100% de las clases. Cumplir con los 120 minutos de clase genera asistencia efectiva por cada sesión. La asistencia se toma en dos ocasiones, mínimo 8 y 20 de la noche y 9 y 40 de la noche. Se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente y tener cámara encendida. Sesiones 1 a 1 disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Permisos no disponibles. Ok, because it is not English Corporativo decision, not my decision, it is in support's decision, ok? I am not allowed to give you permission to skip classes or to be absent. You notify the administration the reason why you are absent and they are going to take notes in order to write a report for in support, yes? Or you may notify me, but also you have to notify the administration. Maybe via the, uh, the WhatsApp group or directly to the admins of this uh, WhatsApp group, okay? And then they are going to consider. Because remember that I call your names in order to verify that you are here, really connected. But uh, the platform starts taking the attendance as soon as you log in, okay? So we know that. And then... Here we have Zoom. You have available the mute or silencio button. Cameras must be like this on. The chats are available via WhatsApp and via Zoom. Also the breakout rooms. And when we are working in the breakout rooms, you have uh, available the ask for help button if I am monitoring another group. And let me tell you that if, you, if this is the first time you are in a class with me, I always monitor the students' performance, okay? Every time you are in the breakout rooms, I am monitoring. And here is what I was telling you. Respeto ante todo, yes? Because we all deserve respect. And we need to pay close attention when someone is expressing their opinions or, or when they are reading any information. And also the WhatsApp chat and here the chat via Zoom is for academic purposes, okay? No jokes, no, you know, no curse words, okay? Only good language. Do you have any questions so far? Questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, no question. let's go moment. over it. Okay, no questions so far. So here we have week one. This is our first week, section one. Homeworks and evaluations. Section one must be covered by uh, September the 12th. Yes, because today is our first day. But if you want to finish earlier, that's going to be great because I'm going to be reporting your work as soon as possible. The fastest you work, the fastest I'm going to be uh, filling in the, the information that INSA Corp and English Corporativo are requiring from me and from you, okay? But if you don't work, what am I going to write? Remember that in support monitors classes, videos, and also they monitor your work on the platforms. Week number two, if everything goes fine, okay, with electricity, with uh, internet connectivity, it's going to be held from September 13th to September the 20th. Week number three, from... Uh, 
September 21st to September 27th. So it means that 27th, sections one, two, and three must be over on the platform. And week number four, obviously from September 28th to October the 4th, yes? And this day, October the 4th, everything must be over actually October the 3rd. Why? Because the 4th is the last day. Okay, so if you have any special situation, you talk to administration. And here we go. The objectives, we have the objective and the specific objective and the class objective. Class, I need you to be the stars in this classroom, okay? So I need one volunteer to read this slide. Who wants to try? Me. Go ahead, please. The objectives, general objective. Participants will be able to respond to questions regarding qualifications and potential contributions using can and can for abilities. Specific objective, at the end of the unit, students will be able to describe their and someone else's qualifications. Class objective, apply the use of can or can't to describe their abilities and someone else. Okay, thank you so much. So today we're going to be applying the use of can and can't to describe your abilities and someone else's, obviously someone else's abilities, yeah? And this is the general objective and the specific objective. So we disregard the class objective from the specific objective. And right now, class, I'm going to share with you something that probably you are used to. But, okay, hold it here. Yes, I know. Yes, I know they cannot, but I have shared the link many times via WhatsApp. That is what I have been doing in the group. I do, I wonder why. Maybe because they are not using the. Okay, maybe they are not using the the mail for English Corporativo. I don't know what's the problem. Anyways, we're going to, okay, I'm going to write over here. Give me one second, please, because I need to write a message to the Okay, because, um, okay, I wrote a message. I expect that they are going to see the message and maybe they are going to help us. I don't know why maybe they have to update the Zoom because when there is an, a new, okay. But there are okay. I wrote, but I have to continue with the class. So sorry. Okay, they need to fix that. Let me see. No, it is the same link. Did you have any problem with the with the with the link, class? No, no, teacher. No, I didn't have any problem with no, the link. No, teacher. Yes, I wonder why they are having this problem. Okay. Hello, Miss Flor Sanchez. There are some students. Hay algunos estudiantes que no pueden ingresar, Miss Flor. Y les he compartido el link varias veces y dicen que no pueden ingresar. Tal vez nos pueden ayudar. Um, vaya, buenas noches. En este momento voy a verificar. Me imagino que debe ser el internet. Pero son varios. Okay, pero gracias. Muy amable. Okay, bueno. let's continue, class. Okay, I was sharing with you. Okay, so you see, uh, I was sharing with you class. Um, 
that probably you are familiar to the video that I'm going to play for you, okay? But I need you to open your eyes big and your ears big because I'm going to ask you some questions. If it is possible, you may take some notes in order to answer later on. Here we go. It is a video from Insafer. Okay. El Insafor ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional Insafor, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los centros de formación fijos donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra las mujeres. Posteriormente, el INSAFOR desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, 
a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. Okay, class, now please get ready to answer the questions. And here we go. The questions go to everybody. You may answer in Spanish or in English because the video was in Spanish, but it is the time to be the stars again. What do you remember about the video? Some information that you may recall about the video. Tell me, please. Say it in English or in Spanish. The curses, the purpose of the, or the spirit, the ideas that Insafor has for the population like you, for people like you, okay? Me, teacher. Excellent, Eduardo Flores. I remember that the, the video is comment that the inclusion uh, the women are the work, uh, la no discriminación sexual y el, y el, el último tema fue la, el tema del acoso sexual que no se está manejar acá en todo esto. Ok, no sexual harassment. Thank you so much. Excellent. Somebody else, another participant? Other details that you remember? Mi teacher. Okay, Mr. Miguel Angel Santos Cortez. Yes. Eh, bueno, lo que yo eh, puedo identificar en el video tal vez es como que siempre ha estado Insafor eh, enfocado en el desarrollo de, de las personas, tanto profesionalmente o bueno, más enfocado en ese tema de profesionalmente, pero creo que también esto ayuda para el desarrollo personal de cada una de las personas, ¿verdad? No importando... Eh, el nivel socioeconómico que se tenga, entonces creo que estamos enfocados en esa parte y creo que es un gran aporte el que hace a la sociedad como tal. Thank you so much. We appreciate your participation. One more participant. Me, teacher. Ok, Miss Jennifer eh, Beatriz Mejía. Sí, sobre la implementación de cursos para la, participa la participación activa de las mujeres para incluirlas en más campos de trabajo. Okay, great, because they are focused on equality. Yes, boys and girls at the same level, men and women at the same level, okay? And actually they have some specializations or uh, some courses that long time ago, it, they were thought that only men could take those courses, but now we have women who are mechanics, yes? We have women uh, who are uh, taking some courses in order to repair ACs, air conditioners, and so on. And remember, the idea for INSAFORP is to say no, no to the bullying, yes? No to sexual harassment, no to discrimination. On the contrary, they are in favor of the inclusion in all the levels. Am I right or wrong? It's right. Okay, very well. Any other comments that you might have? No. No oh. other comments so far. Okay, listen class. Now that you are a little bit more because some of your partners are still having troubles with the, you know, with the platform, I wonder why remember that Every now and then we need to update to check if there are some uh, something new because sometimes when you don't update the the I mean the the app for Zoom it doesn't allow you to use it. Okay, so it is a pleasure to have you here, class. And remember that I'm going to take the attendance twice, but but also I'm going to take a picture of you and I'm going to share it via WhatsApp so the administration can be aware of the people who are here, okay, at the moment. And uh, I need active participation because um, I'm going to tell you that there was a course in which almost at 10 p.m. the auditor from INSAFORP appeared in my class. 
and he was calling my students' name in order to take the attendance. He took some pictures also of the people in class at the end. And well, he talked to the students because we are monitored by InsaCorp. I don't know if you have had that special visit in any of the previous levels. People from InsaCorp, no. Well, I have had some, uh, some visits. So it is a part of the program, okay? So that is why we need you to write uh, your full name. For example, Esmeralda Orellana. Your full name, please. Can you do it or do you want me to help you? Okay, one moment, please. Okay, Daniel Ernesto, your full name. Let me okay. see who else. The other class. No, right now. Tell me your names. Otherwise, the administration is going to call the attention. Tell me your full name, Daniel Ernesto. Me costó ingresar a la plataforma. Sí, yo le voy, voy yo, yo le voy a poner los nombres. Yo lo voy a renombrar. Dígame los apellidos. Ah, ok. Daniel Ernesto Membreño Rivas. Ok, hold it. Please. Membreño Rivas. Yeah, because it is a requirement. And okay. let me see no who problem. else. Okay, thank you so much. Henry Giovanni. Maritza Martinez, your full name, please. Maritza Martinez, are you there? Okay, yes. I'm going to rename you. Tell me, please, your full name. Elizabeth Martinez Lemos. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez Lemos. Okay. Maritza over here. Okay. Is that okay, the spelling, Gracias. Miss Maritza? Okay, someone else? Gracias. Everyone, it is really important, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Listen, it is very important to have the microphones off Okay, because when you participate, we need to listen to you. And one more thing, everything that is around us is recorded. And all the words that people around you express or say, if uh, the TV is very close to you, we listen to the TV. And when your partners are participating, we cannot listen to them. That is why I would like you to keep your microphone on off mood until you participate or you are required not to do so. Is that okay? Yes? Okay, great. And one more, okay. And one more thing, when someone is presenting, please don't write on the slide because if you are writing on the slide, Everybody is spending, paying attention to what you are doing on the slides or on the whiteboard, and they don't pay attention to what your participation is about. Is that okay? That is why I need you to, okay, to keep calm. I know that you are very anxious um, about the participation, and I celebrate that. I have another question for everybody. Did you download the manual from the platform? Yes, or not yet? No, teacher, not hey, yet. Why not? Tell me why not? Why not? I don't have time. But... Really? Oh, my God. Yes. That is the, uh, the number one top 10 excuses for everything. <laughs> Why don't you go to the gym? I don't have time, okay? Why were you absent in class? I didn't have time, okay? So I need you to get some time, to find some time, and please download the manual because you know that we're going to use it. And uh, we do it the... right now. Okay, great, excellent, amazing. And now class, tell me, all of you were together in level number five, yes. Look at the faces. No. Eh? No, you were not in the are, same group. Are very, very new, new. There are some new people. 
new people. Yes. Oh, really? And how many were you in the previous level? The ones who were together in level five? 10, 15 of the people in here? How many of you were together? About 10, 15, or 20? Or it is a mixture? Mixture. And okay. So listen, yeah. you need to get acquainted. Do you know the meaning of the word acquainted? Yes. You need to yes, get acquainted. Uh, yes, uh, one, two, three, or four people in the, in the room. No. Room one, no. To get acquainted, acquainted means that you are going to meet somebody in order to know about that person, yeah? To get acquainted, to meet someone, but to know information about that person. Right now, what we are yo, going to do... Yo lo voy a opinar, yes? Eh, no sé si solo yo, pero en mi caso... Sí le capto lo que dice, pero no, no al 100%. Si usted nos pudiera complementar en español. That is, en that, español no, I'm so buenísimo. sorry. Yes, I know. I'm so sorry, but you are in level six. And it is a must, an obligation that I speak to you in Spanish. And I mean in English. What I can do is to speak slower, okay? Okay, no okay, and you tell me, you tell me, teacher, I don't understand, and I'm going to try to give you examples, or I'm going to expand the explanation, yes, but you are in level six, so it means that this is your last level for the basic ones. The next one is going to be level one, but intermediate level, yes? Okay. Okay. Yes, and right. one yeah. more thing, one more thing, class. Is there someone here who is the first time in this academy? Someone who is really new in this, uh, in this academy, in this academia, the first time? So you know how the platform is, yes? And homeworks and everything. No problem with that? No. No. Okay, Juan Eduardo. Everything is okay with uh, the platform so you can go over the exams and also the homeworks? Yes? No problem. Okay, <laughs> great. So here we go. Let's get started because time flies. Hi, but I'm going to call your attendance first, okay? Let's see. Ana Cristina Hernandez. Absent. Andre. Andre. Okay, thank you. Arely Isabel Campos. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Excellent. Daniel Ernesto Membreño Rivas. Hi, Miss Present. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. David Emanuel Custodio Perez. David absent at the moment. Uh, let's see. Daisy Carolina. Angulo de Sorian de Sanchez, sorry. I was changing the husband. Oh my God. Uh, Edwin Esaú Galdames. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Ana Carla Minero Martinez. Absent. Present teacher. Okay, Here. thank you, Miss. Excellent. Evelyn Yamilet Molina Álvarez. Present teacher. Miss Evelyn, thank you. Gil Yvonne Menjibar de Castellanos. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. 
Guillermo Eduardo Abrego Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Henry Giovanni Rivas Rivera. Absent. Jennifer Beatriz Mejia Cepeda. Present. Ah, from the beginning. Always here, forever and ever. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar. Edward. Here I am. Great. Catherine Beatriz Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Catherine. Katia Maria de Leon. Elias. Present teacher. Thanks, Miss, for answering. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez Lemus. Present. Okay, great. Miguel Angel Santos Cortez. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Noé Gustavo Núñez Cardoza. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening, Noah. Welcome. Oscar Eduardo Melendez Martinez. Present. Thank you, Mr. Melendez Martinez. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Mr. Humberto Argueta is absent. Reina Elizabeth Garcia Alfaro. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Rosalí Bon Quintanilla Mejía. Present. Thank you. Rosalí. <clears throat> Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Sonia. Susana Carolina Rosales Escobar. Susan. Hello, Susan. Absent at the moment. Úrsula Estelí Gómez Martínez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks a lot for answering. Okay, class. You told me that some of you are uh, new in this group, that you don't know one another, yes? Is that correct? So listen, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and you are going to ask as much information as possible about your classmates. For example, you are going to ask, what's your name? Where do you live? Another question? Information question, what's your name? Where do you live? Tell me another question that you are going to ask. Where do you work? Yes. Another general information question that we ask when we meet someone. Okay, we're going to write the questions here. So you are going to interview your classmates because you don't know one another. Here we go. Hmm. Over here. Questions for the interview. Meeting people, okay? The first one, what do we ask first? What's your name? Great. What's your name? Okay. Another question? Where, Where, do, you live? Where, Where do, you do you live? Great. Where do you live? Excellent. Another question that we ask? How old are you? Ay, how old are you? Okay, how old are you? Listen, uh, that is my reaction because American people and European people, they never ask that question because they consider that when you ask how old are you, that is not polite, that is not friendly, that is not nice. But you may ask, okay? And in our country, we usually ask how old are you yes we almost always ask hey how old are you but in american and european cultures they don't ask that because it is like uh, something for you okay another question where do you work yeah. great where do you work okay Another important question that we ask. Are you, are you single or tan, 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 married? 
or married, okay? Are you single or married? I'm single, are married, or I am living in free union. If you are not single, but you are not married, my, but you live with another person, with your partner, and maybe you have many children or one child, or you don't have children, you say, I am living in free union. I am not single, I am not married, but I am living in free union, okay? Another question. What do you do? Hey, great. What do you do? So you see, you know English. You have to practice. Another question? Or that's it? Do you have children? Yes? Yes, I do. I have one, one boy. Yes, I do. I have one girl. Or I have uh, three children or five children. Or no, I don't have children. Okay? Do you have children? Yes? That's it or one question? One more question. Only that. What are your hobbies? Oh, great. Excellent. So you see, uh, what are your hobbies? Excellent. So class, I would like to, to take a screenshot of these questions because you are going to ask these questions in the breakout rooms. Is that okay? Yes. Yes, class? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so take the screenshot and you tell me when you are ready. Can we continue with the other activities so you can go to the breakout rooms? Yes, class? Yes, yes you, you, Did you take the screenshot? Yes. Okay. Yes. So right now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and you ask the question. I don't know if probably one of you may share this uh, information ah, via WhatsApp. I was about to ask you. Let me see if you did it. Excellent. Great. Thank you. Ingeniería Verde. I don't know the name because that is the, okay, so great. I was about to ask you about it. Now class, Remember, try to use only English because practice makes perfect. Here we go. No matter if you make mistakes, no. No, no matter. No problem if you make mistakes, okay? We are here to learn. And if, by the way, if I make any mistake when I am typing something, please tell me, teacher, you didn't write correct. Teacher, that is wrong, okay? Please, because we are human beings. And now I'm going to ask the platform to create the groups. And you ask and answer those questions. Yes, you're going to have five minutes for that activity. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Here we go. There you are. Go to your group, please. Join your groups if you are so nice. Excellent, thank you. Go, go, go to your groups. Go to your groups, please. Thank you so much. Henry Giovanni, please. Miss Elizabeth, Ana Carla, go to your group. Miss Sonia, what happened? Your group is waiting for you. Sonia, your group is number four. And Henry, your group is number five. Henry Giovanni, Miss Daisy, what happened to you? Let me see. <gasps> Miss Daisy, Caroline, your group is number two. You were not paying attention. Do you see the invitation? Yes, I, I put the join. Okay, join to the group. Okay. Group number two.
No, Miss Daisy. Okay, excellent. Yes, yes. Married, married is. Yes, okay. Yep, I am married. What do you do? Yeah, what do you do in what? In my world, in my in my and your work, in my and your work. time. Listen, listen, no, no, Danny, Daniel. Okay. When they ask you what do you do, they are asking you what do you do for a living. Okay, uh, living. Yvonne, ask me the question, please. Ask me the question, and I'm going to answer. Say the question to me. What do you do? Okay, ask me the question. What do you do here? Okay, I am a teacher. I teach English classes. Okay. 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 Continue. I am a um, install air conditioner. Air okay. conditioner installer. Yep. Okay. Uh, my name is Jennifer Beatriz Mejia Cepeda. I live in San Salvador. I am 25 years old. I work at Televisores Arguetes ASB or Electronica Japonesa. I'm single. Um, I work as a sales manager. Um, I have a children. He's two years old. My hobbies um, include a I live in San Salvador. I am 44 years old. I have my own business. I am married. Um, I have two children, one girl and one boy. And my hobbies are going to the beach. Hi, uh, my name is Edwin Galdames. I am living in Santa Ana. And I work in Almacenes Tropigas. I am married and I have children, two, two boys. And how are you? Y va a ser en Dios, San Salvador, ¿verdad? San Salvador. San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Y Oscar dijo. Y... Nuevo Cucatlán. Ajá, Nuevo Cucatlán. Eduardo. Ajá, Eduardo, ¿verdad? What's your name? My name is Eduardo Flores. Hmm. Uh, where, do, where do you live? I live in San Luis Talpa. Uh, how, old, how old are you? I am 40 years old. Uh, where do you work? I work in Galvaniza. Uh, are you single or married? I am married. Uh, what do you do? I learn in English or oh, I study English. Do you have children? Yes, I have two children. Um, what are your hobbies? My favorite hobby is playing soccer. Or play soccer. Okay. 
Uh, what do you prefer? Um, the the romantic music. Romantic music. Okay. And now you, yeah. now you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your name? My name is Andrei Pardo Camacho. Andrei? Sí, Andrei. Okay, uh, where do you live? Mm, I live in San Salvador. Good. Uh, how, how old are you? I am 27 years old. 27? Yes. Okay. Where do you work? Uh, I work in the airport. I am aircraft technician. Excellent. Uh, are you single or married? I'm single. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. No. Do you I'm have sorry. children? Hold it. I'm sorry for the interruption, but for the question, what do you do? If you ask me, okay, Miss Reina Elizabeth. Ask me the question, what do you do? Ask me the question. What do you do? I am a teacher. Uh, I teach uh, English but... classes, okay? <clears throat> it is about your profession or occupation and your duties. So, Mr. Uh, Andre uh, Pardo, answer the question to Ms. Reina Elizabeth. What do you do? Okay. You answer the question. Entonces, I am aircraft technician. I am an aircraft technician. Yes. yes. I'm aircraft technician because aircraft begins with A, correct? Yes. An aircraft technician. Okay, continue. Yes. And I'm sorry for the interruption. Continue, please. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Do you have <coughs> children? No, I don't have children. Okay. What are you hope? My hobbies are, say, I watch TV or sometimes go to the swimming or I don't know. <laughs> okay, very good. Entonces te preguntaría, what do you do? Okay, I work in the administrative area. Okay. Eh, dijiste que trabajabas en la Universidad Matías Delgado, ¿cierto? Yes. And what about Maritza Elizabeth? Did you already ask her? Did she answer the questions? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Who asked Maritza Elizabeth? ¿Quién le preguntó a Maritza? Yo, Andrei. And she answered. No, todavía falta todavía. O sea, estamos entre los dos. Ah, okay, so, okay, who is going to ask the questions to Maritza Elizabeth? Reina or Andre? Or maybe both, one and one. Yes? Eh, pues, iniciamos, o sea, eh, ella, yo inicié preguntándole a ella y luego ella a mí. Entonces, para, para Mari, Maritza. Le hago yo la primera pregunta, la segunda se la hace. Ay, perdón. André. André. Ajá, André. Y luego así. Una cada uno. On. Yes, that's good. Excellent. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Sorry, sorry, no me he dado cuenta que había alguien más. <laughs> ok. What's your name? 
My name is Marix Elizabeth Martinez Lemus. Eh, Marixa, where do you live? I live in Metapan. Good. How, the, how old are you? I am 29 years old. Y vamos en cuál? En la tercera. Where do you work? Marita. I work in the gas station. Okay. Uh, are you single or married? I am single. Okay. What do you do, Marita? I am accountant assistant. Okay. Uh, Marisa, do you have children? No, I don't have. Where are you from, Marisa? Uh, watch movies. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> That's it. Wow, congratulations. So you see, you don't need to be afraid of speaking. No. And practice makes perfect. Remember that, okay? That you. We, you don't need to be afraid of uh, practicing. We make mistakes, obviously. But if we make mistakes, we are going to correct the mistakes. Is that okay? For example, okay. in some groups, who some of your partners were saying, uh, what do you do? And then they, uh, someone answered, I am okay. And I said, no, you say your occupation. Yes, what you do for a living. And then they correct it. And that is the idea. Okay. So, yes. class, thank you so very much. And now let's get back to the main session room. Okay. Thank, thank you. Teacher. Thank you. Teacher, okay. I have a question. Okay, tell me. Mm, what is your name? Irma Carballo. Okay. okay. I said at the beginning. So sorry. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. get back. Okay, let's wait for the other partners to return. And now that you are acquainted with the information of your partners, I think it's going to be um, easier for you to work in the other activities. And here. Okay, let's wait. In 25 seconds, they must be back. Okay, here we go, class. Hold it. Where is it? Okay, here. <laughs> no. But I already had opened, I have opened the, the manual, yes. Okay, class, get ready with your manual. I think this is the file. Mm. Yes, this is the book. Okay, class, 
So here we go. We have the map of the book. In unit one, we're going to be working with job listings. Unit two, staff and schedules. Unit three, human resources procedures. Unit four, trainings, okay? So we're going to get started right now. Here you have uh, some map of the book, the units, the competencies and the vocabulary, the specific vocabulary you're going to be working with. So we're going to start with job listings. And in order to go over that class, we move at page number nine. And the question is, what are some of your abilities? Are you a fast learner? Yes. What are some of your abilities? Are you a fast learner? Or when you are learning something, you need someone to explain more than once, two times, three times, or four times. Or maybe there are some people who are very fast learners and they just... Uh, watch a tutorial and that's perfect so that is the question you are going to start asking and answering these two questions what are some of your abilities and your name for example i can uh, work on a computer i can use a printer i can answer emails yes i can surf the net and some other things, yes? Some of your skills, and you answer. Honestly, are you a fast learner? Yes, I am, or no, I am not. Only those two questions, yes? So, uh, did you download the manual? Yes or no? No. Okay, in that case, I'm going to share with you. I that's here, okay, the instructions. I'm going to share this slide with you, okay? For the people who didn't download yet the, the manual via WhatsApp, I'm going to share with you class right now. Okay, yes, this is your group. Okay. So, now everybody has the information. Only exercise one, okay? Only those two questions. We're going to model the activity. And the first question, okay, goes to, and this is what you're going to be doing, okay? Okay, I'm going to choose a victim. Mm, my victim, I'm going to take it from the, from the list to be fair. Let me see. The first question goes to Juan Eduardo. Okay, Juan Eduardo. Here we go. What are some of your abilities? Can you name one or two of your abilities? Two, two abilities. Yes. Yes, uh, the first ability is I learn very fast that play a game. I can play and soccer. Yes. I can no, I can play video games. Ah, that's great. I can play video games. Excellent. I can learn fast. Good. Yes. So when you finish answering, you ask the questions, the two questions to another classmate. Yes. And then okay. you continue. Is it clear? The activity class? Yes? Yes. Okay, I hope so. And now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. We hold it here. I'm going to send you the invitation right now, okay? Please go for it. Join your groups and ask and answer the two questions. Take turns. Okay.
Miss Daisy Caroline, Miss Arely Isabel, Miss Reina Elizabeth, please go to your groups, join your groups and begin the practice. Please, we are going to be waiting for you. Tenemos que decir dos de cada uno, entonces. Yes. Pregunto yo a... Uh, Maritza, you say, the question goes to... Okay, the question goes to... Okay, Maritza, your victim... Uh... Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay, you okay. say, Maritza, listen, you say, the question goes to Maritza. Okay? The question okay. goes to Maritza. Let's begin. What are the some of you agree? Okay. I can cook. I am teacher. ¿Cómo se dice trabajar en cosmetología? I can work in cosmetology. I am a stylist. Yes. I can. I can work as a stylist. I can, I work, can work as, as, a a, as a stylist. As a, no, as a stylist. Because stylist. I, I as am a, a teacher. A Excellent. Okay. Okay, Thanks. continue. My pleasure. Okay, Marta. What a... And Edwin, uh, Edwin, what are some of your abilities? I am management of different systems in my job. And number one, number two. Number two, um, are you a fat learner? Is very, it's very. No, no, you answer yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Okay, affirmative or negative. Are you a fast uh, learner? Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Yes, I am. <laughs> In my case, sometimes, uh -uh, when it is about technology, mm -mm. I am not a fast learner. Okay, continue. Sorry for the interruption. Okay. And now who is going to ask the questions? Edwin, ask me a question, or okay. Um, did you finish the activity, guys? Yes or not yet? Not yet, sure. Okay, continue, please. Okay. Slow. 
slow. Hey class, did you finish asking and answering the two questions? Yes. Finished? No teacher. Why not? Well, you I finish. Uh -huh. uh, I finished my part, but okay. But you have to ask and answer orally. Yes. Yes, I'm waiting for her. For them. For yeah, them. but listen, only two skills. And you say, yes, I'm not, or, or no, I'm not. In the question number two, when you ask, are you a fast learner? Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Okay? Only that? Let's speed okay. up. Okay? Okay. Ask the word. <laughs> Edward, ask a question to one of your partners. Okay, Esteli. Uh, what are some of your abilities? Okay. I can use printer and I can cook. Okay, and are you a fast learner? No, I'm not. Okay, thank you. You're now, um, Esteli, no, ask I, the uh, questions. Ask, uh -huh, okay. Um, Edward, what are your, some of your abilities? Well, I can swim very well. And I am a good goalkeeper. And are you a fast learner? Yes. I am. Now, Arely, Isabel, and Miss Yvonne. What are some for you, Abilit? Okay, I drive in motorcycles and uh, cars and trucks, um, and uh, I cook. Mm. Are you? A far leaner? Uh, no, my learning is a little bit slow. <laughs> now switch. You ask the question, Sivon. Okay. Uh, Arely, uh, what are some of your ability? Uh, ability play soccer. He is good. Okay. Are you a fast learner? No. It's not. Okay, uh -huh. I am a slow learner. Yeah, a slow learner. Very I'm well. A slow, slow, slow. Slot. Yeah, because slot. if you say a slot, is uh, have you seen the animal? Ah, uh, like, oh, very slowly. Yeah, <laughs> that is the animal slot. So you say slow, slow, slow. slowly, slow. slow. Okay. Slow. Slow. Now let's return to the main session room. Thank you so much for your active participation. Okay, let's get back. Bye. Okay. Okay, let's wait for the other partners to return. Mm, they are still working, but in 20 seconds, they must be back, all of them.
here we go. I'm going to share with you guys. Okay. This is the one. Okay, class, remember that here the purpose, the objective in this activity is to respond to questions regarding or related, associated to qualifications and potential contributions. And then we have here, Ben is in a job interview. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. So we're going to listen. Later you go and practice. And after that, you are going to go over this. You're going to answer this. What are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available? And what are the qualifications for the work you do? This is personal. Number two is personal. What are the qualifications for the work you do? Okay, but here we go. Let's uh, study the conversation between Andre and Ben, these two guys. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Uh, also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can't use a spreadsheet. But I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? One more time. Hello, Ben. And welcome. My name is Andrea Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can, sp I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets. But I'm a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay. So right now, I need two participants, two volunteers. One is going to read Andre, and the other participant is going to read Ben. Volunteers? And later... Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Hi, Daniel, you read Andre and Guillermo, you read Ben. Okay, only as an example. Okay, I am Andre. Andre. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager posi positions for a branch on Honduras. What qualities do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets but I am a first a uh, fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Excellent. Only here. Qualifications. Spreadsheets. You know the meaning of a spreadsheets? Yes. Yes. Do you know the meaning? No, I don't know what Excel. is the meaning. Excel. Okay. Those are the spreadsheets what we call Excel, that's it. And the uh, qualifications, the qualities that you have but uh, related to the, to the job. 
if you are graduated as an engineer, if you have uh, some years of expertise, yes, that is regarding to qualifications. And branch, do you know the meaning of the word branch? Yes. Yes, okay, no problem. So class, you are going to go to the breakout rooms. You practice this conversation as it is, okay? And you switch roles. So you are the person who read Andre the first time is going to read Ben the second time. And when you finish practicing this conversation, you go over exercise number three. And then we write here, what are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available? This is about the qualifications regarding to this job, okay? And number two is a personal question. What are the qualifications for the work you do? Yes? And, yes. and it is personal, so you write your own answer. What do you need? What does a person need in order to be in your position at work? In my case, to be an English teacher, to be certified by Insafold, to uh, know how to use Zoom, yes? And uh, what else? To be responsible, to have internet connectivity, to have a computer, those are the qualifications and all the tools that I need in order to develop my job. Is that okay? Okay, so remember we're working at page number nine, yes? And I shared also this information with you via WhatsApp. So here we go, class. Do you have any question? Is the instruction clear? No, teacher. That's right, teacher. Okay, go for it then. Uh, okay, here, let me see. Oh. Okay. We, I'm going to open the uh, breakout rooms. Pay attention for the invitation. Right now, I sent it. Let me go to group number five. Reina, I sent you the invitation. Catherine, I sent you the invitation, okay? Join your groups. Please be nice and join your groups. Practice speaking, speaking, speaking as much as possible. Okay. Elizabeth Minero, we need you in group number three. Noe Gustavo, we need you in group number three, please. Jennifer. Mejia, go to group number five. Jennifer, go to group number five. And Reina, Reina Elizabeth, go to group number five, please. Okay? Let's begin. Me inicio yo entonces con André. Okay. Hello, Ben. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. I am Ben. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andrea Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What, qualif what qualification do you have for the job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can use a spreadsheet, but I am a fast learner. I get it. Where can you start? Change okay. the goals. Okay. 
Katia okay. and Juan Eduardo. Sweet okay. Flash. Tendrían que hacer Sweet Flash. Somos seis, así que pueden ser otros dos, no sé. No, only five, oh, oh. only five. You are Andre, Elizabeth Anna, Henry Giovanni, Rosalie, and ah. Noah, Noé Gustavo. Ok. Sí, somos cinco. Um, one of you is going to practice two times with another one. Eh, Gustavo, si quiere, como usted era el, el que seguía, ahora usted sea el primero y, y otro que sea el segundo, así. Ok, ok. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Ok, nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a minor position for a branch in Honduras. What a what quali, qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small, a big project. Can house a spread hair, but ER file liner. I get up. When can you start? Uh, empezamos otra vez, ¿verdad? Sí. Hello, Ben. I welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are all three. Uh -huh. Hello, Chinese. Uh -huh. Chinese. Chinese. What are the qualifications for the work you, you do? Y la otra sería. Where are. ¿Cuáles las cualidades para tu trabajo? de la calificación para el trabajo que haces. En ese caso... Sería para mi trabajo, ah, por bien. ejemplo, estar a cargo de un grupo. Ah, ¿Cómo manejar un grupo o be, liderar un grupo. To be in charge of a group. To be in charge of a group. Ok. Speak English sería también, ¿verdad? Sí. Big project, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use expression, but I am a fat leader. I get it. What can you start? Okay, thank you. No, there's... No sé si vamos a responder las preguntas o no se sigue practicando. Hay que responderlas primero. Dice... Um, what are... Son of the, no sé si es qualification, 
that are uh -huh. that are required no sé. <laughs> for the job. What are the qualifications required for the job? But that information is in the in the dialogue. In the dialogue. Mm. In the dialogue is uh, use spreadsheets yes. and a good at Chinese. Chinese. Speak yeah. Chinese and speak English. Yeah. Um, speak English. And use the spreadsheets. Okay, to use the spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. Another question. What are the question? What are the qualifications for the work you do? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. And number there is, two. There is. Mm -hmm. In number two, what are the qualifications for the work you do? Is uh, this is personal question? Yes. In my case, uh, no Excel, no about flashcard programs and problem solving. And you, Miguel? Uh, in my work, is the qualification. Important is uh, know the pro uh, yes know the product uh, for the sales. Uh, también y be be a good sales and also for the moment. Okay, thank you. Satya, what are the qualifications for the work you do? I am thinking. Yeah. So ask the question to another classmate because she is still thinking about the qualification. <clears throat> what are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available? It's uh, true or false? Did you finish class? To practice? Yes. The practice, yes, the practice and did you answer the two questions? Um, we are doing that. Only two questions, okay? Remember, the first one is about the conversation and the second yes. one is personal, okay? okay? About your job in real life. Okay. Okay, two more minutes. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay. In the first one... <laughs> Finish, girls. Okay. Did you finish? Yes. yes. Answering the two questions. Okay. So great. Uh, Miss Jennifer Beatriz Mejia, what are some of the qualifications that a person needs in your position? 
is uh, be in charge of a group, speak English. And Miss Catherine, in your position, what are the required qualifications? Um, manage small MB project in good at sales. Okay, to be good at sales. Excellent. Miss mm -hmm. Sonia Esmeralda, in your case, I speak Ch Chinese. In your job, in your position, what are the requirements? The qualifications in your real life. Uso de Excel. Okay, spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. Do you use yes. spreadsheets? Uh, yes. Um, very good at sales. So you work in a position as a sales ex executive. Are you a sales executive, Miss Sonia Esmeralda? Yes. Okay, good. And what else do we need? And listen, what do we need in order to be a good seller? Imagine that you are going to interview a new employee, but that employee is going to be a sales executive, yes? What are the qualities or qualifications that we need to have in order to be a good salesperson? Es que no le, no le comprendo bien. Okay. okay. What um, do you need to be a good salesperson? A good salesperson. What is, is it necessary? to be a good salesperson? Do you, uh -huh, do you need to have a university degree? Do you need to be the owner yes. of the company? What do you need to be a good salesperson? Teacher, do you let me help her? Yes, please. To be a to be good at sales, you need to know what you're selling. You need to know about a uh, customer service, about um not to be a seller really. Mm -hmm. So be an assessor. Advisor. Advisor. Thank you. To be an advisor and help your customer to fit to full or feel uh, his need the need of that product yes passion and to be eloquent eloquent to convince people yes because if if you offer a product and at the first time they say no i don't need it you're not going to sell you need to be persistent yes Okay, thank you, class. Now let's return because time is flying, okay? Thank you okay. for your opinions. Let's wait for a while the other partners to return.
Okay, class, here we go. We're going to double check your answers in order to standardize them, okay? Just to realize if we have the same answers. Question number one, class. What are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available according to this conversation? What do we need? We need to speak Chinese. Okay. We use your precious So we, we need, need speak English. Speak English. A speak English. Okay. Speak. Mm, what's going on over here? Speak English. No, this is not correct. Only speak English. English. The other mm. one, manage. Manage. Manage a small, big, and, a small big and big project in good very at good sales. Sales. To be very good at sales, okay? No, very good, no. Good at sales, to be good at sales. So the requirements are speak English, manage a small and big projects, and be good at sales. That's it. And also, Andres says, that sounds great. Okay. Can you speak Chinese? Is it Chinese required? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. To speak Chinese. Okay. To speak Chinese. And what else? Using, you need to be using spreadsheets. Yes. And that's it. Yes, 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 yes. Those are the requirements. And now I ask you, I need one volunteer class in order to share with us what are the qualifications for the work that you do? Okay, one volunteer to share with the class. What are the qualifications? Okay. Okay, Daniel, thank you. Um... In my work, yes, uh, I have a license, license your drive, driving and driver's drive, license, driver's license, and be be responsible, honestly, and arrive arrive early. Arrive early, okay, to be on time. In other words, to be punctual, to have a driver's license, and to be honest. Yes, that's it. Very well, excellent. And now here we go. How to use can and can't. Use can when you want to name your abilities. Use can't when you don't know how to do something. For example, I can speak three languages. I can't use spreadsheets, but I learn fast. I can direct a small projects. I can't use this program, but I am a fast learner, okay? Affirmative and negative. Now, class, you are going to complete the sentences with the appropriate form of can. According to the context of these sentences, it can be can or can't. Okay, let's go over the first one together as an example. I'm sorry, I blah blah help you today. I'm really busy. Is it can or can't? Can't. Can't. Excellent. Very mm. well. Okay, now you go over two, three, four, and five. And while you are working on that, I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance. Is that okay? Yes? Okay. Ana Cristina Hernandez? Absent. Uh, Andre? Over here. Andre, are you there? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Arely Isabel Campos. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present, teacher. Great. Mm, Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Thank you. 
Daisy, Carolina, Angulo, Miss Daisy, where are you? Miss Daisy, absent. Okay, Miss Daisy is absent, the second chance. Elizabeth, Ana Carla, Minero. Mm -hmm. Miss Elizabeth. Here I am. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Miss e Evelyn, Miss Elis, uh, okay, Miss Evelyn Jamilet Molina. Present. E thank you, Miss Evelyn. Miss mm. Hilly Bourne, Miss Here you are. Okay, great. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Mr. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego Ramirez. Present, teacher. Great. Next one. Mr. Henry Giovanni. Henry Giovanni. Present. Ah, oh, but you are right a little late, right? Okay, but that's good that you're here. Jennifer Beatriz Mejia. Present. Present. Thank you, Miss Jennifer. Andrew is here and Jennifer also. Juan Eduardo Flores. Juan Eduardo. Here, teacher. Thank you. Catherine, Beatriz. Present. Great. Katia Maria de Leon. Present. Ah, ok. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez. Miss Maritza. Present. Thank you. Mr. Miguel Ángel. Thank you, Miss Maritza. Mr. Miguel Ángel Santos Cortez. Present, teacher. Great. Mr. Noé Gustavo. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Mr. Oscar Eduardo. Present. Melendez. Thank you. Mr. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Absent. Miss Reina Elizabeth Garcia. Miss Reina. Miss Reina. Absent. Miss Daisy, why didn't you answer? Present. Uh huh. The second chance. Okay. So Miss Reina Elizabeth is absent at the moment. But she was here previously. And now Miss Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Thank you, Miss Sonia Esmeralda. Sonia Esmeralda. Present. Ay, great. Sorry. Miss Susan, yeah, because, you know, Miss Susan Caroline, Susana Carolina, absent. Miss Ursula Esteli, she's here, right? Miss Esteli. Present, teacher, present. Hey, thank you, thank you. Okay, class, here we go. Let's share. Teacher. Yes. My name, no. I Edwin didn't <gasps> Oh, really? Sorry. Edwin Esaú Galdames Calderón. I think I call yes. you. Okay, but you are here. Thank you. Great. Now, let's see our answers. Last. Is it? Uy, no, this is the PPT. And I need to share the book with you. Where is it? This is the one. Okay, class. Here. The first one we said, I'm sorry. I, I can't. You told me that it was negative, right? I can't. Uh, what about number two? I just blah, blah, managed to wake up on time. I'm always late. I just can or can't? I can't. Negative, mm. right? Negative, can't. I just can't manage to wake up on time. I'm always late, especially in San Salvador. Look, it's right there. You see it? It's so obvious. Can. 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 can you see it? Okay. Can you see it? It's so obvious. I, blah, blah, speak German. Can. I 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 can. 
sorry, I can speak German. I lived in Germany for eight years. She doesn't have a driving license. She, she doesn't have a driving license. She, she can't. can't. This is what logic says, right? Can't drive a car. Okay, great. Now you are going to complete the diagram with things you can do and things that you can't do. For example, I can, what can you do? I can play video games. I can't uh, complete, uh, what else? Something that you can do? Ah, I can. And the bicicleta, teacher. I can ride a bike, ride a bike. I can't right. ride a bike. Okay, I can't, only the activity here, ride a bike. Yes, I can't ride a bike, or in my case, I can't ride a motorcycle. Yeah, but there are women who can ride a motorcycle. Okay, go over this, please. Mm -hmm. And let me see, for the one-on-one -on -one session for today, do I have a volunteer or do you want me to choose? The first uh, a student who's going to give me 10 minutes for the one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, no volunteers. Exactly 10 minutes, class, to reinforce whatever you need. Either pronunciation, grammar, reading. In the order of the list? No, because, no, because the first person in the list is absent, Ana Cristina. La siguiente, entonces. <laughs> Andre Pardo. Ah. <laughs> okay. okay, it is your turn, Andre. Okay. okay, teacher. Okay, but complete this, please, okay? Let's complete this. Because tomorrow mm. we're going to start with this uh, second part. Daniel is offering as a volunteer, or do you want to share? Dani, Daniel Ernesto, do you want to have the one on one session? Uh, Complete. I can. Ah, I can. okay. No volunteer. Okay, tell me, what can you do? I can. I can early fast. I I can learn, learn. Fast. learn fast. I can learn fast. Okay. Learn fast. Okay. Another activity that you can do, Danny. Yo. Oh. Yes, you. You are. Because you oh, have to uh, write three. Uh -huh. Three. Okay, uh -huh. I can drive a car. Okay, I can drive a car. Another one? Another, I can... I can... Mm -hmm. I don't know what. Um, please help me again, man. <laughs> no, because it is you. Your yeah. skills. Fun. We are. We have different skills. I can. I can. What do you play? I can play soccer. <laughs> I can play soccer very well. Excellent. Now things that you can't do. For example, I can't ride a bike. Another one. I can't drive a car. No, and because I... here you say that you can. Now here the things that you cannot do. I can't. I can't. No puedo, por eso I uh -huh. can't. I can't. Uh -huh. Otra, no tiene que ser yes, la Yes, no. Puedo. Because oh. if you do it, how, it is an arbitrariness. I can't see TV. I can watch. Watch TV. TV uh, until until midnight for example yes because some people fall asleep when they are watching tv another one one thing that you can't, I that can't, you can't i can't go out the home night in the night <laughs> <laughs> I can, oh really i can go out of my house at night okay uh, at night, at night, really. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, because it is dangerous, only because of that. So this is an example, and Daniel shared with us. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with 
this second part as a feedback, as a review of what you have been practicing about the activities or skills that you can do and what you cannot do. For example, if you say, I can't eat pacayas or I can't make pupusas, yes or no? Pacayas is delicious. Oh, okay. So you say, I can, an affirmative, I can eat pacayas, but somebody else may say, I can't eat pacayas, yes? Okay, very good. And now, class, I'm going to ask you to activate your cameras because I'm going to take the picture. And Mr. Prado is going to stay with me for the one-on-one -on -one session, okay? To the count of three, you smile nicely before you go to bed. Here we go. Remember, if you didn't download the manual, please do it, okay? And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Remember, practice makes perfect. To the count of three, here we go. Activate your cameras, everybody. One, two, three, say yes. Hello. So your mouth is just a little and rounded. Or you say you, or one, or uno, okay? One, two, three. Yes. Excellent. All right now, here we go. And you are going to compare your expression with the first picture mm. over here. Yes, this is the one. I'm going to share it. Okay, great. Hey, class, it was amazing to be with you. Have a good night. Enjoy your dreams. Relax and see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. It was nice to Goodbye. Bye bye. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. So long. See you soon, Raccoon. Okay, Mr. Andre, you and I, we're going to have, where is Mr. Andre? He's supposed to be here. Okay, Carlos Enrique, I need one of you. Oh my God, you're about to sleep. Okay, mister, here we go. Let's do it kind of fast, okay? We're going to practice reading, yes? Okay, teacher. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to share my slide with you. <laughs> Ah, no, I said you, Mr. Prado, is going to stay with the teacher. Okay, okay. here we go. Let's begin a practice in this conversation. I am okay. Jose and you are Ben. Okay, here we go. Okay. One, two, three, begin, please. Okay, hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Ander Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small a big project, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use spreadsheets, but I am faster, fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Now let's switch. I begin and you will read Ben, okay? okay. Uh, hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. Uh, we are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English also. I can manage a small and big projects, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use spreadsheets, but I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Now, here we go. I'm going to ask you this question. What are the qualifications for the work that you do? Mm, in my work, I need to uh, read and understand in English for, mm, no sé, realizar, for perform, no. Mm -hmm. Or work to be done? Or to do my duties or my obligations. Okay. Yes. And okay. um, I work, I need work under pressure. Ah, uh, okay. So you do a job, but it is a high pressure position. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because mm -hmm, the supervisor is all time go, go, go. <laughs> okay. Uh, the supervisor is always very demanding. Yes? Uh, yes. A little okay. bit. Okay. Very well. And here we go. Okay. I need you to tell me. Okay. I need you to tell me five activities that or abilities that you are really good at. For example, you say, I can speak German or I can, uh, whatever, I can cook, I can okay. install software, I don't know. Five of your skills, okay, affirmative. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I can cook, uh, I can, Drive a car. Mm, I can. Mm, no sé. Mm -hmm. I can. <laughs> can you use a computer? Yes, I can use a computer. Okay. Uh, I can. No sé. Watch TV. Oh, no, that is not a skill, a special <laughs> skill. Okay, okay. can... Uh, I can... Drive, no, I can... Surfing. Some, of, some of the skills that are necessary in your workplace, in your position. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I can... Uh, flexibly. Okay. Uh, I can work in 
in group. Ah, uh, you are a team player. Yes? Yes. Okay, excellent. Now try to think about five skills that you are not good at or something that you cannot do. In my case, I would tell you, for example, I can't hike a mountain. In my case, I can't hike a mountain. So okay. you tell me five abilities that you don't have. I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, five. Uh, I can't um, brush, brush the, I don't see. Como no me gusta lavar los platos, como no puedo lavar los platos. Ah, uh, I can't do the laundry. I can't okay. do the Okay, I can brush the laundry. No, brush, no, do the laundry. I'm ah, going do. to share it here with you. Via, via. Okay. Okay, over here. Um, those are the house chores. Yes. Okay, so you say, for instance, I can't do the laundry. I can't do the laundry. Okay. okay. Another negative. Okay. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can drive a motorcycle. No, you say ride. Ah, right. Ride a ride. motorcycle. Motorcycle. Okay. Another one, I can't. I can... Mm. I'll say. <laughs> think, think. I can, I can cry. No, oh, yes, you cry because, <laughs> because you have uh, tears. Uh, probably uh, any language. Let's focus on language. Okay, I can speak some language. No, tell me the name of the language. For example, Russian, it. French, any language. I can't speak. Uh, German language. I can't speak German. I can't speak German. Another one. I can't. Uh, I can... No sé. <laughs> mm. uh, I can ally. Mm. I can't yeah. lie. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, we always say a lie. At least a white lie. Uh, maybe I can't, uh, I can't eat something that you don't like, that you really hate. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. I can't eat, for example, I can't eat. Tell me something that you can't eat. You can't stand it. I can't okay. eat. Mm, can you eat is isote flour? Can you eat isote flour? Isote flour, an egg. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. No, I can't. I can ah, eat, uh, so you so... say I, I can't eat isote flour. Yeah. Yes. You don't like I it. Don't, I don't <laughs> like. <laughs> I can't. Something else that you mm. you can't. Uh, I. Can no sé. I think, think, I, can, think. <laughs> I can sleep in of day in el uh, día. during the day. I can't yeah. sleep during the day. During the day. Yeah. Yes. Really? Really? Yes. It's difficult for me. Oh, okay. One more. I can't. Uh, so I can't. I can. Surfing. I can surf. I can't surf. I can surf. Excellent. Okay. Good. Now let's explore. Now here, <clears throat> you are going to tell me one uh, affirmative and one negative. For example, you say, I can use a computer, but I can't do the laundry. For example, okay? Affirmative okay. and negative. Now think and tell me. Okay. I can... I can. Yes. Okay. I can use the computer, but I can't uh, use spreadsheets. But I can't. Excellent. But I can't use 
Bridget. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. And that's it. You see? Mm. Easy. Okay, one more. Mm. I can drive a uh, aircraft. An aircraft. An aircraft. Can or can't? Can uh, or can't? Affirmative can. or negative? I can't. Ah, I can't. I can't, can. uh -huh. I can't fly okay. an uh, aircraft. Okay. An aircraft. Okay. But, but I. I can. Uh, Podríamos decir que le hago mantenimiento. I can. No, I can't fly an aircraft, but I can because it is the action. But I can okay. drive. But I can drive. A uh, car. Car. Yes. Okay. okay. You see? Excellent. Andre, I you disappeared. You vanished. Okay, Andre, thank you so much for giving me your time, for being thank the you, icebreaker teacher. for the one-on-one -on -one session, okay? Uh, thank you, teacher. Have a good Sorry. night. It was a pleasure. See you tomorrow. Now you go. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.